This is the Welland Canal, an integral corridor of the 2,000 mile long Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway System. It was built to open the way for ocean going ships to export grain and steel from the Great Lakes region. It's a very important part of the economy. Uh, for Canada and the United States and for the Great Lakes. But while these massive ships are meant to export commodities, they have also been inadvertently importing uninvited foreign aquatic species into the Great Lakes. These invasive species have caused the most profound changes in recorded history in the Great Lakes. The most destructive ones include the round goby, the spiny water flea, and the most notorious of them all, zebra and quagga mussels. <laughs> The shipping industry itself is not, quote, the bad guy. The bad guy is the fact that they have to carry ballast water, at least for now. The holes of a ship traveling from Europe to the Great Lakes is filled with water as ballast to keep the ship balanced and the propeller underwater. When the ship reaches its port in North America to pick up cargo, the water is dumped into the lake, and with it are the tiny aquatic hitchhikers who came along for the ride. What we're looking at is a continental epidemic of invasive species and we need to make sure that the next invader is stopped. Beginning in 1993, rules were imposed that require international ships to exchange their fresh ballast water with salt water while still at sea. And uh, that's a very effective biocide. It's very good at killing things uh, that would otherwise live within the holds of the ships. Beginning in 2006, even cargo carrying ships that contain no ballast water are required to take on seawater, swish it around, and spit it out to kill any organisms that survived in the muck of an empty hole. Now, is that going to be the end of the story? No, it's not. There's going to be ballast water treatment systems that are going to be put in those ships. But that technology could still be years away. We clean drinking water every day. Why can't we clean ballast water? You know, with invaders, it's all about prevention. Because once they get in, it's game over. Aquatic invasive species have already invaded hundreds of North American lakes. And just as they have spread from Europe to North America on huge ships, so do they also hitch a ride from lake to lake on small inland boats. After each outing, remember to clean, drain, and dry. It's up to recreational boaters and anglers to be a part of the solution, not part of the problem, in this daily battle with the silent invaders.